All right, coming right up on quarter of five here. Time for a closer look at the weather. And so far, so good this week, Ryan. Yesterday was really nice, yeah. I thought. We had some clouds mix in in the afternoon, but still pretty warm. And uh, Sharon, I think you'll like the weekend, too. The weather continues to look better as we get closer to it. This morning, it's a dry start, but we do have a lot more clouds out there. That's helping keep the temperatures up overnight. Yesterday, this time yesterday, we had a lot of 40s on the map. This morning, only Berlin, New Hampshire at 49. Greenville, even 61. Bangor, Bar Harbor in the upper 50s. And we're at 60 degrees right now in Portland. And you actually may notice a touch of humidity in the air today. Dew points in the upper half of the 50s to close to 60, which is when it starts to feel a little bit sticky. Satellite and radar this morning, a lot more clouds out there. One shower that's approaching the Moosehead Lake region. Otherwise, it's dry, but look down to our south. There is a ton of rain traveling out along this stalled out front that is going to be working back toward us over the next couple of days, and areas of rain will be riding up into our direction tonight into tomorrow. Before today, a pretty good day overall. I do think along the coastline and in southern Maine, it will turn mostly cloudy this afternoon, but farther inland where we see some more sunshine, lower 80s, places like Rumford, Skowhegan up to Lincoln, lower to mid 70s along the coastline with a southeast wind between 5 and 15 miles per hour, but dry during the day today. Tonight, rain moves in. The heaviest and steadiest of it likely to be in southern Maine. Lows tonight in the lower 60s for most of us, and it'll feel pretty humid at times tonight too. And then tomorrow is a wet day with periods of rain, especially in the morning. And with the clouds and the rain, I have knocked the temperatures back a bit tomorrow. I think we stay in the upper 60s to around 70. Let's take a closer look at the timeline here. This is noon today. Clouds tending to increase, but dry everywhere. Even at four o'clock, we're still dry, but turning mostly cloudy. Then by eight o'clock tonight, chance for some showers approaching the New Hampshire seacoast and parts of York County. By midnight, I think showers are overspreading a lot of southern Maine, and these won't just be showers. There will be downpours in here, too. This time tomorrow morning, areas of heavy rain working into central Maine, and then it looks like a second round will come up from the south during tomorrow morning. Now, notice this isn't a particularly big area of rain in terms of its width. So if it were to move in either direction, it would take part of the area out of it. But the idea is we will have periods of rain tomorrow, heaviest in the morning, and then turning somewhat drier in the afternoon with just some lingering scattered showers. But regardless, with the clouds that will be around tomorrow, temperatures remain in the 60s as well. Look at these rainfall amounts, and this goes to show just where this band sets up. It will dump some heavy rain. Potential is there for more than two inches of rain in some of the heaviest downpours. Right now, that favors the coastline and eastern Maine the way it looks at this point. Friday morning may start out with a shower, but Friday's forecast has actually improved. I think the afternoon is pretty nice. Sunshine up around 80. And then the weekend looks pretty typical for summertime. Partly sunny on Saturday. This front does come down on Sunday, bringing us a chance for some thunderstorms. But both days, temperatures look to be in the 80s, so a much more summer-like weekend coming up. Seas today around 2 to 3 feet with a southeast wind 5 to 10 knots. Increase in clouds today, highs between 75 and 80. Rain tomorrow, the heaviest of which will be in the morning, but some showers may linger into the afternoon. Clearing on Friday, partly sunny, warm and humid on Saturday. A chance for a thunderstorm on Sunday. Temps may go down on Monday, but potentially back up. Could be hot next Tuesday, Sharon. Okay, well, you know, that's what August is supposed to be like, it right? It is, and <laughs> we might actually feel it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Novel idea. All right, thanks, Ryan.